Have you ever taken the time and effort to clean and organize your closet, but then it almost seems like it's impossible to keep it that way, and just a few days later, you're right back to the mess you started with? Well, today I'm gonna to show you six big organization tips to help you organize your closet in a way that is maintainable so you can keep it nice and clean and organized past just the first couple of days. Tip number one is to organize for the laundry. So if you think about two different times that you use your closet, one time is when you're getting dressed and another time is just when you're putting clothes away. So that is what we want to optimize here. When you're getting dressed, you don't really have a choice other than to get dressed no matter how hard it is to pick something out. You will get dressed and you will go wherever you need to go. However, with the laundry, if it's difficult to put the laundry away or too time consuming, you're just not gonna do it. And then the next time you go to get dressed, it's gonna be even worse because nothing's put away. And so if you optimize optimized to make it easy to put clothes away, then you're more likely to have it organized at least somewhat for when you are getting dressed. Tip number two is to start with broad categories. So an example of this would be your pants. It's tempting to organize into maybe jeans go on this shelf and leggings go on this shelf, joggers in this drawer. Just put all your pants on one shelf or all your pants in one drawer. And that just makes it really easy when you're putting, again, the laundry away to take all your pants and do a quick fold and just put them wherever they need to be rather than having them sit in the basket because you don't have time to open up all the drawers and put all your pants away. Once you can maintain that, that all your pants go you know, get put away, then you can start to organize into more detailed categories. Tip number three is to start cheap and easy. So just like when your kids want a pet and you get them a really cheap and supposedly easy fish and you tell them that they can't get a puppy until they prove that they can keep that fish alive and then inevitably the fish dies and you get them the puppy anyway. But anyway, the point is if you start with something nice and cheap and easy and prove to yourself that you can maintain that, then you can sort of invest in something more fancy or upscale. So you can start with just some cheap drawer systems or bins from, you know, Target or Amazon or the dollar store. You can figure out where you like to organize everything to begin with. And then once you have that established, then you can go out and spend some more money if you want to on, you know, on a more elaborate closet organization system or maybe just some prettier baskets and bins. Don't let the fish die and then you can have the puppy. <laughs> Tip number four is to just loosen your expectations when you're trying to organize your closet in a maintainable way. So by this, I mean no folding boards, no drawer grids that hold individual socks. Don't roll your socks into a flower. Just keep things really easy because the idea here is to make it maintainable. We're starting with the basics here. I would even go so far as to say nothing with a lid. Don't get bins with lids that you have to, you know, fold your sweaters and put them in a bin and then put a lid on. Once the lid's on, you're not opening up that lid to put a sweater in there. You're just going to throw the sweater somewhere or leave it in the basket on the floor because that's easier than taking the lid off of the bin and putting the sweaters in. Tip number five, Five is to just get rid of the loiterers. So in every messy closet, there are items of clothing that are just laying around and you don't wear them, or maybe you do wear them over and over and that's the problem. So go through your closet and find all the things that maybe are seasonal items or don't belong in your closet and are just hanging around cluttering up the space. Store those somewhere else if you can. And a lot of times we have clothes that we are going to rewear and we don't quite know what to do with them because you don't want to put them back in with your clean stuff, but you don't necessarily want to throw them in the laundry. So what you can do with those clothes is if it's an item you're going to hang up, flip the hanger backwards and then hang it back up with everything else so that it's hanging out of the way. It's not laying around on the floor or on a chair, but you would be able to see that that's something that you're going to wear again. And then when you have some extra room in the laundry, you can look up and grab those things and give them a wash. Tip number six might be one of the more important tips, and that is to spend some time decluttering your closet. This could be before you even organize it or maybe while you're organizing it. But if you have a closet that is just jam packed full of clothes and you're trying to organize it, it's going to be really hard to do that because there's just too much. It's too overwhelming and nobody likes overwhelming things. I do have a couple more closet decluttering videos that I'll link in the description below, but you can really maximize your closet organization and help yourself maintain that organization if you 
cut out all the clutter, get rid of everything that you're not actually wearing and you know, all those basics on decluttering that we all know, but actually put them into practice, do it and you will feel much better and you'll be able to keep your closet nice and organized for more than just a couple of days. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. Please consider subscribing if you like this kind of video and giving the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.